Yeah, hello guys on YouTube. Right now I'm going to talk about you guys today about this one watt LD Nikon LD light for two cell and up to six cell flashlights. Well, I was testing this guy in different flashlights I had here at home and the light bulb decided to fail on me and did not try to upgrade upgrade your 18 volt um, flashlight battery one. Don't try to use this bulb. It will fail on you. Well, here's the package you guys seen in my own blog. Nikon I had the same issue just gonna put that on there for a second. I had the same issue with the Nikon LD upgrade for the mini mag. Well this one here also died, but this is the second one I replaced in my mini mag uh, flashlight. There you go, see. Works just fine. See. Well I recommend you guys just get a uh, flashlight that has the LED built into the flashlight itself, like the Cobalt flashlight has the LED built into it, and also the this one has the LED built into it, and also you guys have seen this beast in many blogs. My mag light flashlight. I would recommend. <coughs> well, this is. I mean, it's a good buy, but it's also a bad buy because trying to put this guy into different flashlights, it may not always work for you guys. Well, here's you know the standard incandescent and LED upgrade kit. Well, it says one watt. I don't know what the lumens are on this guy. Well, I can't test it out because it's dead. Well, let's go ahead and go ahead and pop the cells, battery cells, in my cheap Rayback flashlight out. <coughs> Take the top off, put energizer batteries in. And by the way, this one is a cheap $7 flashlight. You can see the bulb, and that's no longer works. Go ahead and pull out the incandescent. Just place that incandescent there for one second. And let's go ahead and open the Nikon LD upgrade. And this is not, this is the same company I had the issue with before with my mini mag upgrade kit I bought for my uh mini mag light the light will I want see it turn on nothing bulb died the bulb failed of what it's supposed to do well the Nikon LED light is a good LED light to buy if you're going to be using it in different type of applications and you can uh, take a standard Krypton or any cheap flashlight guy laying around and upgrade it to LD. Well, here's the bulb itself. Tiny little guy. Well, what happened was the resistor gave out on it. The uh, voltage uh, resistor inside of this gave out. And now I'm going to have to go buy another one of the Nikon uh, bulbs to be able to return this bulb back where I bought it. And I'm very disappointed with this light. Well, of course, you, like I said, you can take any type of <coughs> flashlight. Here's this beast. A non-3 style light. And other sides, and that's thing you can upgrade this to LED as well. Well, I'm not talking about that flashlight right now. Let's get back to talking about this. Well, it's a very good good bulb by using it in different 
flashlight applications like any flashlight, like any cheap flashlight you prefer to use. It doesn't matter what flashlight you use. Gotta figure out what the bulb is capable of doing. Or capable of supporting the type of voltage is going across the LED. Well, some uh, high powered LEDs will definitely need a heat sink attached to it. Like my cobalt flashlight has a heat sink across it because it has uh, 6 volts across with 3 lithium ion batteries so pretty damn strong can also kill the bulb and I got news for you guys LED bulbs don't last as long if you put them to the test of trying to figure out okay the LED is better than the uh, incandescent bulb eh. Uh, it depends on the type of bulb you try to buy or the type of flashlight you try to use it in. Well, like I said, <coughs> I recommend buying a flashlight that has the old DR built in and you're not going to have any issues with the bulb. But, <coughs> like I said, you guys seen this guy before? This has a 3 watt OD, you know, and it works just fine for what I need it for. That's the one I got near so yeah, the 3 watt OD is a whole lot better than that beast. Well, because it's a Nikon, again, that same issues with the Nikon LD upgrade kit for the Mini Mag flashlight. Of course, like I said, it's up to you guys. It's whatever you guys decide on buying for your flashlights. But I'm not complaining about the Nikon bulb. It only the bulb has apparently a, a limit for the bulb can be upgraded into. And by the way, guys, this bulb does say flashlights on it, but only says D and C. Means if you look at the word D and C, sell flashlights, means it's meant for D and C flashlights. And try not to put this in a flashlight that has a higher voltage battery, like 18 volts uh, to uh, 4.5 volts, because you might blow out your bulb. And you probably can get away with this using this bulb in a known type of flashlight, but I not recommend it. But yeah, you do got a website and you do got a phone number. I might call them today about the issues with this bulb or not. I don't know what to do with it right now. Well, this is, like I said, the first time I ever bought a bulb, one watt bulb, has failed on me in different flashlight applications. Well, let's take a look at the bulb itself. Well, the resistor and the uh, bulb died, and I'm kind of disappointed. Well, it's just like a standard incandescent bulb. It has a standard basic incandescent. There's the LED up here. Well, remember, it's a very <coughs> low profile bulb. It doesn't really have a lot of a heat sink metal to it. When this bulb gets kind of too hot, it will just overheat and explode. You need a good heat sink for a bulb this size. Well, it'll stay nice and cool if it won't get hot. And good, we got news for you. This bulb actually works really good in that flashlight. I know it's this flashlight for some reason because you guys seen this one before. It has a, a textile reflector on the side of it. You guys, this one has a smooth reflector on the side of it. Same with my mag light. But you know, it's a pretty good bulb for the upgrade choices. Mm, it's okay, I guess. It only depends on the type of bulb you're trying to, or flashlight you're trying to upgrade from a standard. From a standard Krypton bulb to a LED light. <coughs> like I said, the information's in the back. Says don't show a recycle this bulb in case if the bulb ever breaks. Um, it has fifty. Th it has fifty thousand hours of LED life, and of course that didn't happen. The resistor died on it, and it would save you up to battery life. But I don't know what. How it saves you up battery life. I don't know how it's going to save you with 
um, bulb life or even battery life, guys, because I don't know what the lumens are. Doesn't say what it is on the package. One watt LED upgrade kit for D and C flashlights. Well, if you have a D flashlight, like a two cell, three cell, four cell, five cell, or six cell, this bulb will work just fine. In. But if you have a seven or eight cell, uh, you might be pushing the limit on this bulb itself, trying to push out um, the voltage too much on the bulb. And the bulb can smoke and stuff like that, and that's what this bulb actually did when I was testing it in my mag light. Oh, uh, I got news for you. It, I should have captured it on video, but I did not. It had a puff of smoke coming out the LED bulb itself, and I was like, oh, that's, that stinks like you are not a breathe. Well, alright guys, I hope you guys leave a comment below on more information about this bulb. Um, subscribe to my channel, please like my video, and also please share my video with all YouTubers. I don't know what I did wrong. If you guys can uh, correct me on what I did, that would be okay. Just leave the comments below, because I would like to know what I did wrong with this bulb and why this bulb has failed on me. I don't know, guys. Alright, peace out. This is your technology, Chris Romeo, telling you about this is not a goodbye. This is... Not worth it. Alright, peace out. Bye guys on YouTube.